rosegarden.com. Thanks for tuning in. So far, my video on propagating lilies from scales has been the most watched of the few videos I've done so far. So I thought I'd do a follow-up video to that. Um, just another fun and easy way you can propagate the lilies that you're already growing in your garden. Now, um, we're in October already here in Pennsylvania. And um, I was just cleaning up my gardens a little bit for fall. You can see some of the bulbs actually work their way to the top of the soil and they're sticking out a little bit. So I just wanted to talk about a few things here. Um, first is we talked about propagating scales um, into more baby lily bulbs. Here's a scale that was just on the top of the soil. So I'm gonna take this inside when I go and pop it into a bag of peat moss, um, damp peat moss in the fridge, like a little Ziploc bag and just kind of forget about it for a couple months. And um, in case you didn't see the other video, a little baby bulb will eventually grow on this scale if everything goes to plan. And then you can help nurture it until it becomes a full-size lily plant in your garden. Um, but right now I wanted to point out another way you can propagate lilies, which is dividing these little tiny bulbs that grow um, at the top of the root cluster and um, the bulbs. So you can see right now we have a tiny bulb starting over here and another little scale just popped off um, and we have tiny little bulbs starting over here. So we can actually separate these and most of the time they have their own roots just as you can see there and um, you can plant this in a different part of your garden if it's still warm enough that the roots can acclimate. If not, you might want to plant it in a pot um, inside and take care of it over the winter until it becomes a bigger lily bulb. Uh, for right now, I think we still have a couple weeks, hopefully until the ground freezes, so I might just relocate this one um, in my garden to spread the beauty of the lilies further than they're already reaching. I think um, either method is great. You can go around all your lilies and look for these little bulbs sticking up. And, um, you know, you can cover up the existing bulbs with a little extra soil, too, just to give them the best chance of surviving and thriving. That's it for now. I will be back with another video soon. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and um, ring the bell to get notifications when I put out new videos. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear what's going on in your garden and especially with your lilies if you love them as much as we do. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and happy gardening.